Hello everybody, welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today, this is another one of my tutorials. Because a friend had addressed an issue that was bothering him, which might actually bother some of you as well, so might as well get into it. Today's tutorial is cutting out windows from, an, from a shell model. As you can see, this is nothing more than a shell. So, what I would, what you start out doing is, if it isn't already, go to your little arrow button up here, select, and then just select the whole thing before you do anything else to it. As it is right now, right click, either make a group or a component. You know, what the hey, we'll just make it a component for now. And uh, we'll call it a shell. Okay. Now, however, um, if you had art, if it was just something you downloaded, like you go to get models here, you know, and then you type in blah 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 model here, you know, then naturally it will come as a component. So when you, if you do that, do not explode it because you right click and explode. Do not do that. Well, I mean you could, but you just make your life a whole lot harder. So as you see, you got your component here. What what I'd recommend what I do now is um I would stretch canvas along the top and then I would um I just use rectangle so I'd go to this offset tool here, it looks like a little arrow and then however thick you want your walls, let's say a brick wall, maybe a foot thick. We'll go with that. And from there we can go downward. Um, component already has a floor, so I can erase that. Now, so what else is there? All right. So what you'll do now is um, you'll go or you'll take a window. Use a rectangle tool is most recommended. Go well, from one corner to another, and I would do whatever the opening calls for, including the frame, just because. No, actually, wait a minute. Scratch that. Okay, so I did it once. Right click, select all connected, make component, and I'll call it window cut out. There we are. And you'll see why I'm doing this in just a second. Okay. You'll see in due time. Alright, so what you're going to do now is you're going to right click on Edit Component. You're going to go inside where the component's supposed to be. Put this little push pull tool out and push all the way to the wall in the back. Then you'll exit the component by right clicking and close component. You'll go back up to your rectangle tool. You'll draw over them like so. Now you'll go back to Edit Component. Edit Component. As you can see, it's all the way on the back side of the window here. You don't want that, so we'll just move it back. We'll move it back up. Say about like so. Just however close the window glass is because in SketchUp, you know, you don't need to make thickness for window glass, it's just redundant, so. Now, so, pretty much you have a window cutout. As you can see. However you finish it, should, should you finish it, would be solely up to you, however. What I usually like to do is, you can see here, you see how this frame is? I just have it up to the window glass, but you see how the frame is, right? I usually go about the same amount as the frame, so I go back into my component and play with it a little bit. 
I would say okay so I had that an inch outward I would use my offset tool click on an edge and then reconcile it with one of these edges and I would color it you know that's all optional but it's just all the wool more to make it look nice right I mean there you are there's your window cutout now obviously if you have different style windows you're gonna need you're gonna need a different component like I'll show you and you know of course those aren't beautifully finished but who cares for this tutorial where did I okay I went from there so like likewise wait a minute okay I was like what's going on here alright go from one edge to the other Likewise, but then the, the, see how this is a semicircle here. Now, don't always count on the arc. You may have to draw it individually, depending on how the perfection of the arch. This one just happens to be very perfect, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, you always want to watch out for that. That can mess up your mess up your project. I'll make this a component like I did the other window. I'll call it semi arch window. Oh, I can't spell today. You get the idea. And then like like the other windows, I just go around la la la. And the beautiful thing about components is you do it with one window, you're doing it with all of them. So because there's some more windows on this side, I'll just right click, flip along, components red. And then therefore, if I pull out over there, it's going to pull out over here. It's not going to pull in over here. And you'll see that in just a minute. You know what? I'm also going to... Because there's another window over here. I know there are windows I forgot to over there, but you know what? You get the you're gonna get the idea once you can see this. Not if you already get the idea, which I assume you already do. Just wanna do this real quick. Won't take too long, won't take long enough. Edit component as always. Uh, push pull to the edge here. And I draw like usual. For more difficult windows, I'll show you a more effective trick. Like if this window, like say, was like a heptagon or something. Here's something I would do. I'll just go back to Edit Component. Extend it further than the wall. And then exit the component. Right-click Intersect Faces with Model. Go back into Edit Component and flush it back with the wall. And then you can just go ahead and cut item out. Hey, isn't that cool? Yeah, that is cool. So, I mean... So yeah, so back to where I was before. Let's go on, la la la. Cutting out windows. Hey, at least you're not doing it one by one. I mean, come on. Between you and me, that reeks. Okay, so. What did I do this time? I, had, I was in the wrong component, that's why. Alright. Also, make sure you're not in the wrong component, because I wasn't in the window component, I was in the component for the whole thing. So make sure, make sure everything around you is grayed out. 
So what I'll do now is I'm just going to trace the window here. And now I'm actually going to use the move tool. You see this tool here. This is for more unusual windows. And I'll go about an inch. Just because you know that frame outside was an inch, so. And it always pays to make it look finished, you know. You don't have to, but it's my preference. And this stuff is all about preferences. I color it again. Then I use that. Cut it out. Voila. Voila. You got window cutouts. And, of course, you know, it works exactly the same on doors. Exactly the same. So, um... It's just that it goes all the way down to the ground. So I just use my rectangle tool. What happened? Select all connected. Make component. Door. Cut out. Now. You'll just have to do some camera repositioning, but small price to pay for a finished product. Let us see. Flip along components green. There we are. Now, when you do that flip along stuff, make sure it's on the right axis because you see from here to here, it's like along the green axis. From here to here, it's along the red axis. And up and down is blue. So just make sure that whenever you do that flip along, it's on the right axis. Otherwise, you're pretty much in trouble. All right, edit component. Not really, but oh well. And exactly the same as before, just come over here. And you know, I don't even think I... Except for down here, you know, you just gotta worry about what you see down here. And as you can see, what I did over there was what it happened over here, too, so... Take advantage of the layers. Nope, wrong component. Make sure it's the right component. Edit component. There we go. And, you know, you just go out one. Two. Because, you know... And just, you know, flush it with one of the frame lines. As a door, you know, you gotta bring it down to the ground, like so. Then... Cut it out like that. And you know what? I forgot to color the frame, but you know what? I'm doing that now. And there you have it, a door cut out. And if you really want to fancy up the deal, just clean it up a little bit, like so. And there you are. And, I mean, if you want to, you can explode the components, you know? If you want to do whatever you want elsewise so that's the tutorial on my window cutouts i hope it answered questions so if you like this video please rate comment subscribe i'd really appreciate it if you did there will be more to come in the future all right thank you for watching everybody have a great day bye bye